You roll? Yes, that's a good boy. Good morning, happy Monday. Today's gonna be the best day ever. Cause this gate is gonna open for me. It's saying, welcome to the best day ever. You're gonna have the best week ever. You're gonna do, you're gonna get your goals. You're gonna do what you need to do every day and it's just gonna be epically awesome. <sighs> Cause I have to start with a good attitude. Cause if you start with a stank attitude, you have a stank day. Even though I start with a good attitude and then the whole day goes to hell, it doesn't matter because I tried. But you have to at least try. And my light is on and I don't know what it means. I know what it means. It said that tire pressure is low. Last time that light was on, I ignored it for like two months. And then when I went to get my oil change, they were like, hey, um, you have a nail in your tire. And I was like, really? Like I drove around for like at least two months, probably more, with that stupid light on. So I should probably go get it checked out before I, like, pop a tire on the side of the road and die. Because that would be a really not fun way to go. I don't know when I can go, because I would have to take time off of work. Because I, I wouldn't really have time to go before work. So... Maybe I can go on Saturday. I don't know if I want to wait till Saturday though. Sorry for the silence. I was like mentally trying to figure it out. But it's a nice day. It's gonna be the best day ever. If you stay busy, the day will go so fast. So I'm just gonna engross myself into my projects and just speed this day along. Then so go home and play with my fluff it's feeding time at the Kendall Zoo. I'm making my food and I'm gonna feed the bulbas. And I feed him with my clicker. And he gets, cause people ask me, so he gets one third of a cup twice a day. Which he should be getting a little bit more, but because I give him a frozen Kong in the like morning after breakfast for him to play with when I leave that has wet food and kibble in it. And I give him, not lots of treats, but I give him a treat for every time he goes potty. So I haven't increased his food yet because I did the research and he's getting the proper amount of food and nutrition. So if I increase his kibble amount, he would be getting too much food. So this is how I feed him because he's he has a little bit of an issue with eating from a bowl. He, he does guard the bowl. So I stopped feeding him with the bowl and I only feed him either by hand or I put it in this thing and he just paws it and knocks the food out. Since I have time, I use his feeding time as an opportunity to do, why did I say opportunity? As an opportunity to do obedience training because you're gonna give them treats anyway so you might as well make them work for it. So let's see. Bubbles. Oh, you know. You roll? Yes, that's a good boy. That's it. I'm not even gonna use the clicker. I really only kind of use it like if we're doing something new. Honey, sit. Uh-uh. Up. Up. Sit. No. Up. Up. Sit. He's starting to get his sits and lay down mixed up, so I'm going to focus on sits because he's just laying down. And it's so cute when he doesn't know what to do. He does everything. It's hilarious. Okay, baby. Sit. Uh-uh. Up. Up. Yes. Sit. Good boy. No. Up. Up. Sit. Good sit. And I just give him a couple at a time. Like right now I'm starving. And I really don't have the patience to do this. So I'll probably just end up doing something obnoxious like that. It just stops him. And he also, he eats really fast. And he got sick a couple of times from eating fast. So using the slow feeder and just doing obedience stuff. And they do have things you could put in the bowl and they have a special bowl. And I have that, but like I mentioned, he gets a little possessive over the bowl. So I really don't like to feed him in a bowl. Come on, you wanna do some more? You wanna do a stay down? 
but down. Stay. And I'm turning around, and I'm ah 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 ah. Uh -uh. Stay. The trainer said I have to start. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Stay. Stay. If I'm facing him, he'll stay. But if I turn around, he'll move. Oh, good boy. You get a jackpot. And then I just do that like 500 times. But I need my dinner because I'm starving. And if I'm starving, then I can't be a good mom. And we are having some arroz con pollo. I'm feeding him like a pigeon now. <laughs> Yay! Because then he can't eat too. He can't gulp it down because he has to find it first. Call me mean. I think I'm resourceful. Where are we going? To the park. He's being so barky. Probably because I was sitting there like... I was eating and I was reading so I didn't have the TV or the radio on. And he was just like jumping in my face going, ah, And I was like, who do you think he is? Go, Dolly, go. So, I was like, maybe he wants to play, which is of course what he wants. But I don't want to reward bad behavior, so I waited till he stopped. And then I put his harness on so he knows he's going somewhere. He just doesn't know where. Hi, my little nugget butt. My little butt nugget. Are you a butt nugget? Where's your butt? Show me your butt, you butt nugget. Where's the car? Bentley, which car is yours? She's like, well, there's no Bentley, so I'll take this one. Is this your car? Is this your car, my boy? You gonna get in the car like a big boy? You're gonna be a little punk. I want you to do it like a big boy. Get in. Whoops. In. In. Punk. Come here. Punk. Baby. Dang it, I forgot the water. Oh well, we'll get water at the park. Seat belts. That's why I love this harness, because it has, oh, I don't even know if I'm focused. Two hooks, so I can hook his leash and then his seatbelt and the other one. Okay, let go. Arf. Hi, puppy. Are you happy to be in the park? Of course, by the time I get here, it's getting dark, so it was more like a ride in the car. Hey, 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 you're tangled. Boop. It's weird because I feel like it's getting dark, but when I look through the lens, it doesn't look that dark. You want to go to... The no, the dog park here is actually kind of gross. I like the other dog park better. Where are you going? No, you're not going to... Small other dog's poop, that's nasty. So I think little Nugget, I think he grew out of his puppy a harness. This part, the part that goes around his like, not waist, his breast. He doesn't have a breast, but that's what you call it. It's tight. So since he has the best mommy of all time, I just ordered him a new one. Cause you were a spoiled, entitled little brat. Cause this is a small, I think it's a small. Whatever. It's a small. So I ordered a medium for my bulbs. And then we'll save this one for your new brother or sister. But we're going to use it till the new one comes. Did you have fun at the park? Yeah, I had a good time till that stupid lady tried to pet me. I, I growled at her, but she deserved it. <laughs> Mom, you tell them. Tell, her what, tell the vlogs what happened. Okay, so we're at the park. We're walking. And then there's a lady like... She's like, can I pet your puppy? That happened. And I was like, okay, like, if you're going to ask a question, ask the question, then do the action. Like, don't swoop down like an eagle and try to pet my dog. Like, he's here. Okay? Imagine if you're here and you're, like, it's scary to him and people just don't understand that. And they just want to touch his head and... Like, I can do it because he knows me, he's comfortable with me, but people just have to understand that when you're in the park, if you want to pet someone's puppy or someone's dog, just ask. Because if she would have asked me, I would have said, approach him slowly, don't try to pet him on top of his head, that freaks him out. Just, okay, this is what you do. Oh, 
can I pet your puppy? Sure, you can pet my puppy. Okay, he's such a cute puppy. I'm going to pet him. Okay, go for it. Just, you know, maybe if you can, just bend down, get on his level, and, you know, pet him. And he'll bite your hand off. Okay, he wouldn't really do that, but... You just can't swoop in the poor kid's face. Jeez. That's why they say little dogs are nippy and mean. It's because people are sticking their hands in their faces and scaring the little babies. Right, my little baby? My little baby. Somebody's a spoiled bear. I'm putting all the treats from this big thing we got from Petco. We're going, no, Petco Unleashed. We're going to their grand opening. Look at that. It's full, good, good. And he wants the good, good. These freaking cookies, they like look real. And I may or may not have licked the cream out of one of them. And they taste like human cookies. I wonder if the whole thing tastes like human cookie. I don't know, it's really weird. It tastes like a really good cookie. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Zoomies. I gave him a bone, like a dental chew, that from the bark box. And I don't know why he he's had one before. But he's like, zoomy, zoomy, zoomy. Does that mean you're really happy about it? I'm not gonna take your stupid bone. See, he gets greedy with certain things like bones and Ooh, candles. Too late for that. Yeah, he gets so greedy and he guards it, but I'm working on it. I'm gonna call it a night because I'm gonna like literally tip over, fall asleep, and die. Honey, say bye to all your friends. We can see you. We know you're here. Oh, bye, guys. I gotta play my bone. Bye. Go closest. Bye. That was weird. Bye.